Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video I'm going to show you how to set the clock on your router. So a lot of people don't know how to set the clock. It's sort of like uh, a lot of people don't know how to set the time on their VCRs or DVD players. So it's kind of sad. Uh, to my knowledge it is not part of the curriculum in CCNA to set the time on your router. So that's, that's definitely sad that you can get certified and not know how to set the time. So we're going to fix that, and we're going to fix it by setting the clock on one server, or on one router, and then we are going to broadcast it to another router using NTP, which is Network Time Protocol. So, we've got a two-router topology up. It's connected with eIGRP, so we have connectivity. And I'm just going to go on router one, and I'm going to do a show clock. And here you see the typical March 1st, 2002 and we've got the time there. I'm going to go on to router 2, do a show clock there, and we've got the time also here. Now the, the clocks are sort of close together. We have a difference of about, oh, looks like 10 seconds here, and that's because these were started up about 10 seconds apart, so not really a big deal. Now if you're doing logs and log analysis, a 10 second difference is definitely a big deal because things just won't match up. So here we're going to go on router 1, we're going to set the clock, and pretty easy command to remember, it's clock set. Let's do the question mark there, so it's asking for hours, minutes, and seconds, and this is done on a 24 hour clock. So right now it's midnight, so it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 005, and usually don't worry about the seconds, just put in zero, zero. Now, here we're manually setting the, cl the clock. In real life, you'd probably point your router to a NTP server. So you'd be typing in NTP server and you'd put in the IP address of either a, a local master server or a server on the internet. And that you could just Google for NTP server. And there's, there's tons of NTP servers out there. And if you're in the United States, you could put in a couple of the a military ones. So you could put in a primary one and a backup one, just in case you lose connection to the first one. So in this case, since we're working with GNS3 and virtual routers, we don't have connectivity to the internet. We're going to go back to ConfT. So here we're manually setting the clock. So clock set. Actually, we're going to go back here to regular enable mode, clock set, question mark. So 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, 0. Hit the question mark again. So you could either put in the day or the month. And so we're going to put in the month, July, question mark. Okay, let's check the date here. Date just turned, so July 7th, the year 2010. And here we could hit enter. So we've set our clock. We'll do show clock. And you can see that our clock has updated to the time that we typed in. Now, nothing's changed on router 2 because nothing is broadcasting to router 2. And also, we haven't set router 2 to pull the time. So here, we're going to go back on router 1, go to conf t. And we're going to type in the command ntp source, question mark, and we're going to source from loopback0. So what it's saying is the loopback address 10.1.1.1 is now going to be an ntp server. So it's going to send out the time. It's going to broadcast out the time information. So ntp source, loopback0. Now we're going to say ntp master. So it is a master of our particular domain. And here you could put a stratum number if you wanted to. Now a stratum number is sort of like how reliable or how accurate the time coming from the server is. You could see it's going from 1 to 15. 1 is the lowest and the better one. And those are, that would represent an atomic clock. You know, something extremely accurate, you know, trillions and billions of a second over, you know, a year or a century or something like that. By default, it's going to go to stratum number 7. And as you get farther away from the master time clock, 
the stratum number is going to go down. So if this is if we set this to the default, we could hit enter NTP master. This is actually going to set it to stratum eight. And we could verify that. Show NTP, we'll do a question mark, show NTP status. Let's see what we got here. Clock is synchronized, stratum eight. You could see that right there. And you'll see that when we configure router 2 to pull the time, it will be a stratum 9. Okay, so this is sending out information. Going to go on to router 2, minimize router 1. Go to router 2, go to conf t, and the command is pretty simple on router 2. It's ntp server. And here we're going to type in the IP address of the loopback that we set on router 1. So NTP server 10.1.1.1. That's pretty much it as far as a simple pulling of the time from an NTP server. We could put in other stuff, but we won't worry about it. We'll just hit enter. Exit out of there. Wait a couple seconds, then we'll do a show clock. And magically the time has now been updated on router 2. And we could go op also open up router 1's window right there. We'll put them side by side. Let's do a show clock. Show clock. And you can see the time are pretty much the same here. We'll do show clock on both. Boom, boom. And you could see they're off by a little bit, and that's just because of the delay I did just hitting show clock, hitting the enter from one to the other. Let's see what happens if we do show NTP status on router 2. And you can see router 2 says clock is synchronized and this is a stratum 9 versus a stratum 8. There's another show NTP command that you should probably be aware of. So show NTP associations. And this says what it's getting its information from it. So it's saying I am getting the time from 10.1.1.1. And then you have a lot of other stuff that you don't need to worry about. Alright, so this was a quick and easy video on setting the clock and setting the NTP server on your Cisco routers. Thanks for watching.